awesome thing of Jerry expanding what he offers in essentials to women's wear, you have more options. That also can cause some confusion, even to those who shop <laughs> within the brand a lot, like myself, AKA the shirt I picked up in Sycamore. It's the women's cut. It's not the men's cut. Now this isn't all bad. I just don't wear as much true to size items anymore, at least for essentials. I buy it for the oversized aesthetic. That's the point. It's relaxed, it's comfortable. Again, it's not true to size fitting for me, or at least I don't purchase these items with the intention for them to fit true to size. I don't do that with a lot of shirts anymore, but that's not to say I don't have shirts that are more true to size. You guys will see just some few basic staples that I added to my closet, like literally basic white tees that I added to my closet um, that are true to size fitting. And I I intend to wear those with jackets and suits separates and different blazers and whatever things of that nature but for this yeah i just um so here's here's the thing this is what happened right that's how you know somebody's about to go into a story if they say that in browsing and not paying attention diligently you have within the women's section you will have the regular unisex t-shirts which are really just categorized as men then you'll have the women's shirts there's a difference and I didn't pay attention to that. So of course, in me looking at what the size chart was, I was actually still looking at the unisex one, not the women's cut. And whenever I buy just regular women's items, just as FYI, I normally get a medium in the t-shirt just because my shoulders are larger from working out. And I don't want it necessarily like close fitting again to my body, even though I like my crop tanks to be close fitting to my body, not necessarily my t-shirts. I want some movement. I want some airflow. Did not happen here. However, it's still a good fit and it works perfectly with the shorter style shorts. So if you guys remember, he came out with the nylon running shorts, the track shorts. Not a lot of men care for them unless they like that, uh, the 70s, 80s style shorts, then you absolutely love them. But for some, it's just not your thing. And I totally get it. Get the regular dock shorts or fleece shorts and you should be good to go for any of these summer styles you want to rock. But for me, especially as a woman and someone who ran track, I have no problem with those shorts. So I have two colorways and you guys are able to see the sycamore tee on with the iron shorts so they are both a size small the shorts literally those are more of the unisex style shorts and then for the top it's the women's cut now one thing i actually didn't know is true for this and i'll be able to see because this is like a two-part video so we're also going to see these side by side the sycamore tee and women's cut and the traditional unisex or men's tee in the coral colorway in a size small and what i didn't expect though for the sycamore tee is the actual application of essentials i thought it would be the flock design and it's not it's more of a just the rubber it's a matte rubber design essentially no pun intended, on the front of the shirt on the left side. And I'm quite okay with that. Actually, I'm very pleased with that, that it wasn't the flag design. So that's one reason why I was pleasantly surprised just based on what the actual application looked like. I was like, you know what? This I can get with. The sizing took me by surprise. And you can tell as soon as you go to open the package of what it looks like. But this side by side with Coral, let's take a look. All right, here's the men's size T or unisex extra small in the coral colorway that originally dropped last year fall 2022 and i must say pleasantly surprised not that i don't already own coral in a few fog pieces but i really like the t-shirt i wasn't sure how i would feel about the extra small versus the typical men's small or unisex small i get but it's a really nice fit you can see the difference of the application of the wording on the left side of the shirt. So for the coral shirt, it is a flocked application. Instead, it's the matte rubber finish on the sycamore shirt. And you can see the difference also in fit of where it hits right just above my hip or below it. So of the brand new colorways we have, at least in recent drops, please just go ahead and comment below, like which are your favorite? I've seen a lot of love for the plum colorway and I don't blame you guys, the plum tee, the more, uh, the, the brand new yellow design that we have. And I don't know why the name always like just this leaves my mind, but I actually have that. I have plum, I have the yellow tee. I have another sycamore tee in my cart on Essence. I'm just gonna wait and be patient. So not an immediate pickup, but I really like pairing or the idea of pairing those more colorful tees with the neutral shorts that I have. And I have them in sweatshorts. I have them in a few mesh uh, shorts as well. And then just random bottoms that I can wear. So go ahead again, comment below your thoughts on recent colorways, especially those that are not muted tones. I think it's really nice to be surprised by what we've seen with plum, sycamore, and then coral. 
curious to see what else we have on the way and of course we all know that the uh, official show the hollywood show that will occur april 19th so i'm curious to see what comes from that i appreciate you guys tuning into any and every video especially the essentials videos i never thought i would be known for doing these more than some other content <laughs> but you tuning in i really appreciate it as always act your age not your shoe size peace